Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Debian version 9.3 on Oracle VirtualBox. Now before we dive in the installation part of step-by-step -step installation of Debian the Universal Operating System version 9.3 on Oracle VirtualBox, let us first of all understand what is Debian and somewhat its history and some its features. Debian is Unix-like computer operating system that is composed entirely of free software and packaged by a group of individuals participating in the Debian project. The Debian project was first announced in 1993 by Ian Murdoch, Debian 0 0.01 and was first released on September 15, 1993 and the first stable release was made in 1996. The Debian stable release branch is the most popular Debian edition for personal computers and network servers and has been used as a base for many other distributions. As one of the earliest operating systems based on the Linux kernel, it was decided that Debian was to be developed openly and freely distributed in the spirit of GNU project. This decision drew the attention and support of the Free Software Foundation which sponsored the project for one year from November 1994 to November 95. Upon the ending of sponsorship, the Debian project formed the non-profit organization software in the public interest. Now if we talk of some of the features, the developer is Debian project and it is under the source model which is under the free software. It is available in 75 languages and the latest release is version 9.3.0 which was released on December 9, 2017 about 26 days ago. Now if we talk of some of the features, Debian has access to online repositories that contain over 50,000 plus software packages making it the largest software compilation. So you can say that if uh, we talk of Linux, the biggest operating system and the biggest distribution is with Debian. Debian consists only the free software but non-free software can be downloaded and installed from the Debian repositories and Debian include popular free programs such as LibreOffice, Firefox web browser, Evolution Mail, k 3 Bay Disk Burner, VLC Media Player, GIMP Image Burner, Events Document Viewer and Debian is the popular choice for web servers. Now if we talk of some kernel, Debian supports Linux officially offered K-free BSD for version 7 but not 8 and GNU HUD unofficially. Official support for K-free BSD was removed from version 8, which did not provide a K-free BSD free distribution. So this was the basic introduction about what is Debian. Now you can see that I have already opened the official website of Debian and you can see all the information about getting Debian, news, support and miscellaneous. And you can find that everything security and everything regarding the news over here. Now what if to download the copy? You can see that there is a link over here but I have opened a website that is cdimage.debian.org slash debiancd and I will leave the link down below and you can find that you can download everything over here. So it consists of three DVDs of Debian 9.3 uh, so I will be telling you the link also so you can find all this over here and you can even use that is the non-free firmware and even the Debian CD team will be put together so everything is available on this website. So even you can click on this link that is download Debian 9.3. So you can see that it is already available but it is a net install ISO. So I recommend to install uh, yeah, download three versions of DVDs of Debian. So let's now minimize it and now let's go to Oracle VirtualBox and now let's start with the installation. So Debian consists of three DVDs. What these three are, I will be demonstrating in just a few moments. So let's click on new and let's write Debian 9.3 Linux. So it, you can see that the type is Linux and version is Debian 64 bit. So click on next. So let's allocate about 4 GB of RAM to Debian, but I recommend to allocate at least 2 GB, but I'm recommending you to recommend at least 4 GB of RAM. But if your system is containing more than 16 GB or 16 GB of RAM, you can allocate even uh, 8 GB of RAM to Debian. So click on next, click on create, next, next. So let's allocate at least 35 GB of hard disk space to Debian. Let's click create. So the machine is created. So let's click on settings. So click on advanced. So bi-directional towards shared clipboard and bi-directional towards drag and drop. Click on system. So let's close the floppy and let's move the optical dice before the hard disk. Let's click on processor. So let's increase it to 2. 
and enable PAE oblique NX go to storage so here we have the empty so click over here and choose virtual optical disk so let's go to operating systems folder and you can see that there are three versions of disk which is downloaded so let's click on one two so if I go with these properties you can see that about 3.69 GB is of DVD 1 DVD 2 is about 4.35 GB and DVD 3 will be about 4.35 GB so DVD 2 and DVD 3 will be used less during installation they contain some uh, packages but the main installation DVD will be DVD 1 so let's go with DVD 1 and click on open so let's click on OK and now we are all set to fire Debian so let's click on start so you can see that it has started so click on view and full screen mode and now there are five options which have come in front of you graphical install which will go with the graphical based installation and it is very much recommended for new users to go with graphical install we have another version called install might be it is called the command based installation advanced options if we click over here you can find graphical expert install so different rescue modes automated install so everything is there so there is help options and install with speech synthesis also so let's go with the basic option that is graphical install and let's press enter so in a few moment it will be starting so you can see that it is very fast and uh, very uh, interactive also so in the first option we have to select the language so English will be the default so let's click on continue so select the location so I'm living in Vietnam so let's click on other and let's click on continue so let's just click on Asia continue and now let's search Vietnam so Vietnam is here so I click on continue so for uh, combination of language and country and for configuring locals I just take United States as the default thing you can even change in the in the longer run so let's click on continue so keyboard will be American English only so you can see that it is detecting and mounting the CD-ROM and it is loading some additional components so Debian will not take much time to install and it is one of the most powerful and utilized operating system in the whole planet so it is detecting the network hardware and it will get some uh, IP address of IPv4 and we will not use IPv6 so it will leave it to configuration over there so you can see that network configuration has succeeded and now we have to give the host name so Debian I just type 2018 so you can give any of your name whatever you want to suggest so let's click on continue so domain name is ok so let's click on continue leave it blank so root password let me give the root password so let's click on continue so full name of the new user so my name and username will be Anand and let's let me type my password so the users are set clock is set now it is directing the hard disk drives so you can see that I can even set the entire disk and set up LVM encrypted LVM or manual so if you are a basic user I recommend either you can use guided use entire disk but I am somewhat now using my video for basic to advanced users so I will use guided use entire disk and set up LVM so I click on continue so this will be the hard disk drive which is allocated about 40 GB so click on continue so I will put all files in one partition click on continue so write changes to the disk let's click on yes and click continue so you can see that it has made the LVM about uh, ext4 swap and ext2 slash boot so let's click on continue so write changes so I am acceptable with the changes now so click on continue so it is formatting the partitions and now it is installing the base system so it is very easy very interactive no rocket science and uh, if you even uh, are newbie and you are going to install operating system Linux for the first time in your lifetime so you can just read all the options in very simple manner and you can select the best option and Linux is so much interactive that you will not find any difficulty during installation so almost we can say that it has installed almost 50 percent of the base system so very soon we can uh, complete this and we can go to the next task so it is configuring the basic libraries and uh, yes one more thing is that that you must connect your system to the internet 
before installing Debian because sometimes it requires some files or repositories to be crawled online and to be installed. So for that reason, we need the internet to be connected to your virtual machine or the main server or the machine where you are installing your Debian 9. So you can see that almost 99% it is done and it has installed the base system. Okay. So good, so it is configuring the APT. So if you wish to scan other DVDs, so I don't want to scan anything, so let's click on continue. So a network mirror is required, so I just use a network mirror. So network mirror can be anything. So I can use this default options. So it is configuring the APT now. So depending on the speed of the server and the mirror, it can take some time. So till it uh, moves, let us pause the video for some time. So now you can see that it is configuring the APT and all the files are being recovered. So if you want to use network mirror, you can use. If you don't want to use the network mirror, you can even skip it out. So you can see that some of the files are being recovered online. So depending on the speed of your internet and the speed of the server, it can take and vary it some time. So you can see that it was about 2 minutes, now it is less than 20 seconds. So time variation is very flickering. So it will be now installing all these softwares. And yes, all the files are downloaded. So we have the Linux version that is uh, image version that is 4.9.0-4 which is the latest Linux image for AMD. Okay. So now you can see that if you want to participate in package survey survey, so I don't want to participate, so I click on no. So what type of environment do you need? So I just take the mate because right now genome is now replaced by mate and mate is more interactive so it is okay so i just make it sss server also and i make it as a web server also so i click on continue so depending you can even uh, uh, download uh, all the uh, uh, desktop environments and you can switch between desktop environments but I just require mate because mate is now becoming my favorite desktop as compared to Yuma, uh, 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 as compared to genome so even I'm using my Ubuntu based distributions for mate also so uh, this is one of the best things which we can do so all the files are being retrieved it is going smoothly so some files can take some time Yes, so now we can see that uh, almost everything is now set up and we just wait for just five to six minutes more to just complete the setup. So Debian, I can say it can be installed between seven to ten minutes. So sometimes time can take between configuring APT, but if you are uh, not interested for network mirror, you can just click on no and you can go for it. So till it uh, installs, let us pause the video for some time. So almost you can see that 56% of installation is being done and it is installing the softwares. So about 3 to 4 minutes it has taken to reach over here. So I think so 5 minutes more and we are through. So you can see that almost it is done and uh, now we are all set to reboot the Debian. So it is installing the grub bootloader now, the final step. So let's install the grub bootloader to the master boot record. So let's click on continue. So let's select this hard disk. So almost we are done, the last step. Okay, so finishing the installation, setting the hardware clock. So now you can see that we are all set. So let's click on continue and it will reboot. So all set. So Debian is installed. So let's press the first option and press enter. 
So it has taken about 8 to 9 minutes, even less than 10 minutes to install Debian. Even it is the biggest operating system and yet it takes less time to install. And very friendly, very interactive and very easy. Okay. So it is there, might be it is on the welcome screen now. Yes. So let's type the username. And we are in. So Debian 9.3 Cinnamon is installed and now let us uh, overview the desktop and let us fire some commands. So let's click on applications. You can find that there are different categories accessories, education, graphics, internet, office, where we have the LibreOffice, sound and video and system tools. So if we go with places, you can find like Red Hat, Home Folder, Desktop, Computer and a system we have preferences, we have hardware. For displays, let's go for displays and let's you can see that it cannot change. Okay, so no mind. So we have internet and network, look and feel. We can just change the wall appearance also. Let's change some appearance. So let's click this and yes, it is working very fine. So there is administration which we have the Synaptic Package Manager as we have in Ubuntu and about Mate you can see the version is 1.16.2 the latest version. So let's uh, uh, go and open the terminal. So here we have the Mate terminal. So we have uh, this so let's type who am I so it is Anand so let's type in with root su space minus and we are through. So let's go with the updating of repositories that is apt hyphen get update. So it is very fast to crawl all the repositories. Okay. So it is done. So let's install some uh, VMware tools. So apt hyphen get install open hyphen VM hyphen tools hyphen desktop. Okay. So we can take this as a open VM tools. So no candidate is there. So not available. So either it is obsolete. So no problem. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install uh, Debian Linux on Oracle uh, VirtualBox. So do give this a shot, do like this video and do comment and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.